It was an exciting day on the island of Sogo. Good morning! called Harold. Annie and Clarabelle were full of happy children. Thomas was taking them to their annual sports day. Everything was ready for the day to begin. I do hope I'm number one and win a medal, said a boy. It must be splendid to win a medal, chuffed Thomas. After all, I'm engine number one. Thomas worked hard all afternoon. But he couldn't stop thinking about medals. He imagined himself wearing a gold medal on a bright red ribbon. How smart he was. Hello, Thomas, whistled Percy. I'm taking Sir Topham Hat to Sports Day. You can see the egg and spoon race, chuffed Thomas. I didn't know eggs and spoons had races. The children race with eggs on spoons, said Bertie. And the winner gets a medal. I wish I could have a medal. You need to win a race first, whistled Percy. I'll race you, Thomas. The first one to the station is the winner. You're on, called Thomas. Ready, steady, go! Better hurry, Bertie, said Thomas. Then Thomas had to stop to pick up some passengers. Better hurry, Thomas, teased Bertie as he rattled over the bridge. Then Bertie had to stop at a level crossing. Last one there, Pops Hot Air, called Thomas. Thomas was nearly at the station. As he drew near the playing field, a signalman flagged him down. Now Thomas was really close. Bertie was sure to win. Then he saw Sir Topham Hat. Thomas, the Sports Day medals have been left in my office. You must fetch them at once. We can't let the children down. Of course not, sir, replied Thomas. And he chuffed away. Meanwhile, Bertie had raced into the station. I won, shouted Bertie. I won! And he waited eagerly for Thomas. Waited and waited. But Thomas had forgotten about the race. He was thinking about the children. I can't let them down. I can't let them down. At last, Thomas puffed back into the big station. The station master gave Thomas's driver the box of medals. Then Thomas set off again. He arrived just in time. Well done, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thank you, sir, panted Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt presented the medals to the winners. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. The next day, Bertie and the medal winner arrived with a surprise for Thomas. A small boy presented him with a gold medal on a red ribbon. You were very helpful at sports day. So we thought you should have a medal of your own, added the boy. My very own medal, said Thomas. Thank you. Three cheers for Thomas, the number one engine. Hip, hip, hooray! But I still won the race, tooted Bertie. Thomas just peeped happily. 